Hello, I'm Kat McMillan, Head of Community Engagement at BCP Council. Over the past year, I've led the Council's Together We Can programme, or TWC for short, to ensure support is available for our residents during the pandemic. Many of you will be aware of the TWC helpline of volunteers, but behind the scenes there was far more work taking place and I'd like to take this opportunity to highlight that work and pass on my thanks to all those involved. Alongside the TWC helpline, dedicated work streams focused on volunteering, community development, communications, access to food, financial resilience and business support. And here is just a snapshot of some of the activity that took place. During the first lockdown, 400 council staff were redeployed to ensure help was available 8am to 8pm, seven days a week. Over 3,000 volunteers signed up to support Together We Can, providing shopping, prescription collections, phone calls, marshalling at waste and recycling sites, litter picks at beaches, made ear savers for hospital staff and supported local community and voluntary organisations. Over 20,000 calls have been made to the TWC helpline for advice and support and over 5,000 have received support from a volunteer. During each lockdown, over 15,000 shielded residents have been contacted to check on their welfare and support needs. Hundreds of resources have been collated on a range of subjects, including arts, education, health and well-being to help with lockdown. An intergenerational pen pal scheme and a telephone coffee morning project were established for people without internet. COVID-19 funding opportunities were shared with the community and voluntary sector to enable them to access in excess of £1 million of funding. The Community Equality Champions Network meets regularly to identify any emerging issues in our diverse communities. My Local Lockdown Life project was developed to capture people's experiences of lockdown and is now on virtual exhibition at Paul Museum. A directory of local businesses offering food deliveries alongside an interactive BCP map of community food support was developed and over 900 frontline staff have been trained so that they can refer households to local food support. Weekend emergency food hubs were de developed to support those in food needs and a WhatsApp group was formed to share the bulk food donations received. The unwanted government food parcels for shielded residents were collected, sorted and redistributed to local community food projects. And call outs for help resulted in PPE donation and loans of laptops and mobile phones to citizens advice volunteers to enable them to work from home. Over 15,000 emails were received and responded to and regular emails went out to over 35,000 residents. Over 30,000 postcards and posters were distributed in the community. The Let's Talk Money programme was developed to support residents who've been financially affected by the pandemic. Over 800 applications for the Winter Grant Fund have been processed and hundreds of thousands of pounds distributed to help people with food and warmth this winter. £80,000 has been distributed to community food projects to support local residents. And over 4,000 calls have been made to people who've tested positive for coronavirus to check on their support needs. The sheer scale of the effort and response simply cannot be captured and I am truly grateful for everything we have achieved together. Thank you. Hello, I'm Councillor Nicola Green, Portfolio Holder for COVID Resilience, Public Health and Education at BCP Council. Together We Can was just one part of the incredible community response that we saw as a result of the pandemic. Partnerships were formed along with incredible friendships between volunteers and vulnerable residents. The community and voluntary sector has responded on every level, from formal support services through to neighbourhood WhatsApp groups, cooking meals and just being there for someone who needed someone to talk to. 
At times, the past 12 months have seemed to go both incredibly fast, but also painstakingly slowly, as we wait for our lives to return to some sort of normality. The feedback I've received from our vulnerable residents shows just how important the community response has been, and for many, the support that was provided was the shining light during a very dark time. To everyone who's helped in whatever form, I'm certain that we couldn't have achieved so much without each and every one of you. As we move forward in these uncertain times, we can reflect on what's been achieved under difficult circumstances over the past year. Community spirit has and continues to be seen across Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole, truly demonstrating just how strong we are when we come together. Thank you for all your help.